Assalamu alaikum children and welcome to another episode of Qasas Al-Atfal. My name is Samira and I'll be keeping you company for the next whole hour. Now this is our special time where we get to learn the fun way. We read stories and we watch cartoons and we learn about everything around us. Come a little closer, hold my hand. Let's go to that secret place where there's no adults allowed. Let's learn about Islam and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let's dream about Jannah and find ways to make Allah happy. Today, children, we're going to start off with Postman Pat. <laughs> Enjoy that children? I know I did. What's your favorite cartoon? Why not send me an email and tell me all about it? Let's go watch another one now and when we come back we'll read a story. Welcome back children. Let's read another story. Now this one is called Pride Comes Before Fall. Little Sophia was so excited. It was the end of the first term in school in Madrasa. Her Madrasa teacher told their class that they could have a small party for the last day. At home, she told her mommy about the party and asked, Mommy, I need to take some paper cups and paper plates. Sure, said Mummy. We'll pack them the night before so that we don't forget them, inshallah. The night of the party, Sophia was excited for Mummy to pack her stuff. She was disappointed when Mummy took out the plain paper plates and the throwaway ones from the cupboard. I can't use those, she said. Mummy, can't I have the ones that have the pretty printed flowers with the matching cups? No, said Mummy. These are right for your little friends. The other ones might break. And besides, they're expensive. They're just for special occasions. Sophia was sad. She imagined how she would feel when the table was set with beautiful plates and cups and not just the plain white ones that would be thrown away afterwards. She had looked forward to her faces and all her friends eyes light up at the delighted sight. Didn't mommy realize this was a special occasion? It wouldn't feel so special to take the throwaway ones now, would it? Hmm, I wonder. Sophia thought about the matter and decided to help herself to the pretty plates and cups. Mummy was reading Salah, so she went into the kitchen, opened up the cupboard and took everything out. Most of the stuff was right on top, so she was very dismayed to see that it was too high. She managed to get it eventually by climbing on top of the cupboard. But when she saw she waited quietly for three o'clock. She felt very guilty and ran out of the house. But as she ran, she tripped and fell. Her stuffed bag, which was unzipped, fell on the floor and out popped the paper cups and paper plates. Mummy ran to help her and then she said, Sophia, these are not the cups and plates that I gave you. These are my fancy ones. How could you take them without my permission? Didn't you realize Allah was watching you? Sophia felt very ashamed. She had to replace the stolen plates and cups with the plain ones. In Madrasa, she set them out. Her friends piled them high with yummy food and yummy goodies. Then Sophia realized that these plates looked just as good because they were filled with delightful treats. 
Although they were plain, they served the purpose. Mummy was right. Sophia also realized it was her pride that caused her so much difficulty. It also made Mummy very upset and disappointed with her bad behavior. She realized that when we proud, we do things that we regret later. Because after all, pride comes before fall. Wasn't that a lovely story? Children, why don't you tell me some of the naughty things you've done and some of the amazing lessons that you learned afterwards? Email me on samira at itvnetworks.tv But ah, uh, we've come to the end of another show. Don't worry, we'll be back again soon. Don't forget to email me. I'll be waiting to hear from you. Until next time, fi Manila, Assalamu alaikum and bye. Boom, boom.